I'm so sick right now. <laughs> I sound disgusting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is officially Vlogmas Day 6. No, that's a complete lie. It's Vlogmas Day 8. Why do I not know what date it is? I think it's the 8th. I'm gonna have to check this out now. But it's the 8th, it's Vlogmas Day 8. As you can tell by the horrible sound of my voice, I am very sick right now. I'm not feeling good. This time, every single year, for as long as I can remember, I get sick. So I've kind of been waiting for it to happen and it's happened. I'm sick. I apologize. <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. We're doing a video because I've sworn I'm going to do Vlogmas. I'm going to upload every day up until Christmas. I'm going to do it. So this illness is not going to stop me. Well, it's a bit of a chatty one. I've got myself a cup of tea. I probably shouldn't be speaking as much when my voice is killing, but we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> but today is actually going to be my ultimate Christmas wish list. And when I say Christmas wish list, and when I say ultimate, I mean ultimate. I mean if I was a millionaire, if I had hell of a lot of money, these would be goodies that I would just treat myself for Christmas. I'm not saying that this is what I expect of anyone. This is not my actual Christmas list. I've not asked anyone for anything on this list, I believe. That could be a lie though. <laughs> this is not by any means saying that this is the stuff that I want and I'm demanding. It is just, if I had a hell of a lot of money, these are some of the goodies that I would possibly consider getting myself over Christmas. So, here we go. So, the first thing on my Christmas wish list is actually the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna put it somewhere, but like look at it. It is like a cathedral door of some sort or maybe like a window. And on one side it's got the Saint colours and the other side it's got the cinnamon colours and I love eyeshadow palettes. I have way too many but I want more because why not? I will also add the price along the screen somewhere as well. It's not going to be the cheapest of palette at all but you know it is something that I would really really like. I've always wanted to try Kat Von D's makeup and unfortunately I've just never had the money to just spend on products that are a little bit more expensive but this is just something that if I had that bit more money I definitely would buy because these shades are absolutely incredible and I reckon you could create some gorgeous looks with that so the Saint and Sinner palette is something that I would definitely buy for myself if I had a little bit of extra cash. The next thing on my list I actually considered buying myself in all honesty I'll pop them here they're actually the glitter rainbow dot martins I don't know the official name but they are gorgeous I live in my black dot martins and I saw these and was like they are like my two personalities together they're like my girly glittery iridescent rainbow side and the big chunky dot martin style Boots. I do love them, I do still really want them, but my only concern was that they are obviously Doc Martens, they're not the cheapest of shoe, and they are very OTT, and for me, I don't have a lot of outfits where I would wear them that often, so part of me was like, I would kill for these shoes, but I probably wouldn't get that much wear out of them, so if I had a hell of a lot of money, I would definitely buy them, because if I just wanted every once in a while to wear an over-the-top shoe, I'd just throw them on. For the amount of money, obviously, I was a bit like, oh but I would love these shoes, but again, yeah, money. <laughs> so similar to the OTT Doc Martens, I would absolutely love, is it Crosby or Crosley? I'm not too sure, but there is a type of vinyl player that I've had my eye on for a very, very long time in Urban Outfitters, and it's like a mint greeny and um, blue, vinyl player and they are so nice I think they may be about £90 but I was just having a nosy online and they have an iridescent one it's like a pinky purple one uh, and I was so so close to being like both check out but again it's quite a bit of money I don't currently have any vinyls so th it would have been pointless but I would like to have a vinyl record collection because my dad is a huge lover of vinyls and records and he has actually given me one of his old ones so I do now have a vinyl player so that's why I was a bit like you don't really need it but it is gorgeous it is like ultimate goals it's very ott very mermaidy but i would love something like that the next they're not exactly expensive at all they are actually just two books again i could easily just go and buy these but i just thought i'd put them on my christmas wish list and it's two books the first one i believe is the life-changing magic i'm not giving a and the other one is get your sh together i just think they're i think they're the kind of like life lessons slash self-taught help books and I just love how it's got the taboo language in the um, title and yeah I've always had my eye on them so that is probably something that I might actually buy for myself as a treat but I just can't wait to read them so that is also on my Christmas list. So next this is where the money goes straight through the roof is actually 
a camera because I currently actually film on my phone and I know I say camera because it's like easy to explain than saying my phone camera which is great it's doing a good job so far I'm not complaining but I would kill for a decent quality camera and I've done quite a bit of research and it looks like the Canon 80D is actually up there with one of the best ones but the actual kit is not exactly cheap I think it's maybe just under two grand and I don't really have two grand that I just want to throw away on a camera right now <laughs> so if I had a hell of a lot of money that would be something I would definitely treat myself to because I would love to make better quality videos and things like that so that is another thing that is on my ultimate Christmas wish list. Again, similar, I would like the Canon G7X Mark II because I have obviously started the YouTube thing, I love vlogging, but I also like making videos separately, like I'd love to make videos of my nephew growing up, things like that, and I think obviously the G7X Mark II is a little bit more um, travel. I don't know, it's better for vlogging, better for travel. If I had a massive Canon 80D, I'd be a bit more awkward to carry around. Um, and I've heard nothing but great things about the Mark II, so that would also be on my wish list because, I don't know, I'd love to vlog as well one day, so on the wish list as well. Again, sticking to the whole camera slash video style thing, I would love a ring light. I have two softbox lights, but I would like to, as you can tell, it is quite dark in here today and it is actually midday. So it would be really nice to maybe get a ring light to just, I don't know, make better quality videos, take better quality photos for my Instagram and blog and things like that. So yeah, I just think a ring light would be quite nice to actually have. So a new launch that happened quite recently, it was actually at Spectrum Collect, is it Spectrum Collections or Spectrum Cosmetics? I'm not too sure, but I do already have some of their makeup brushes. I think I've got the Marvelous collection. I'm not too sure, but they recently brought out a Zodiac range and it is gorgeous. So there's earth, wind, fire and water. And depending on your star sign, you are in a certain category. So me being a Virgo, I'm in the earth category, I believe. And they basically came out with a range of makeup brushes, which are gorgeous. Again, there'll be photos around. They have stars on them um, and it comes with like a makeup bag with some stars on it. I don't know. They are just gorgeous brushes and I was very, very close to buying them. But again, I have quite a lot of makeup brushes already and they're not exactly the cheapest. You don't get that many brushes in the set. So it would be more of if I had a lot of money, I would happily just be like, yep, yeah, purchase, need them in my life. But again, I had to think of, I had to be smart about it and say, you don't really need them. So maybe put them on a wish list. So that is something else on my wish list. Next on my wish list is actually an underwear set or a lounge set. The company is called, is it Lounge? I think it is lounge, I think the company is lounge, but um, I'll leave their Instagram and everything below, but they basically have loads of gorgeous underwear, but they also have like a more chilled slash sports style range that I really like, you know the ones with the really thick bands, like the triangle, comfy style underwear, and I just love their sets, but again, they are not the cheapest, I would either love one of their little triangle and thong um, underwear sets, or I would like one of their high-waisted leggings and their little crop top style sports bra sets, because I think they look so comfy and I don't have big boobs at all I don't really have boobs in general <laughs> so I don't really need the whole like big support underwire brows so the little triangle comfy ones are so comfy I love living in those so yeah that's just something else that I would probably love to have and that's why it's on my Christmas wish list so next on my Christmas wish list is kind of a cheap because I do already own a pair is actually the feeler disruptors I adore these shoes they're massive they're chunky they're very 90s but I have them in like a minty color I've always wanted the white pair but I just could not find them whatsoever because they are obviously an old vintage style shoe but because they are starting to bring them back I'm pretty sure you can now get the white ones and I adore my mint ones but white ones are obviously a lot more versatile again they're not the cheapest of shoe yeah if I was feeling a bit extra and I had a little bit of spare cash I definitely would buy these so that's why it's on my Christmas wish list next again is also something I could probably easily just go and get but I just haven't got round to it so that's why I've just thrown it on here it's actually I'm not too sure how to pronounce it is it Dymo? I'm not sure, but it's basically just like a little label maker and they make these little labels. Again, I'll leave pictures because I'm not very good at describing what I'm trying to describe. But basically, is it Gab Linley? I think a Velvet Ghost on YouTube, she has one and she puts it on things like cereal boxes or any files and stuff. And I just think they look really nice and I think it'd be a good way for me to maybe organize my makeup and things like that. So yeah, that is just something else that is on my wish list. 
So next is actually a brand that I came across when I was in Camden with my boyfriend and I think it's pronounced Thamon or Thamon, I don't want to butcher it, but they basically make gorgeous backpacks, bags in general, wallets, purses, a laptop cases I believe but that sort of accessory but they look like leather backpacks but they're not they're all made out of leaves oh my god they are actually gorgeous again I will leave some pictures here so their backpacks are all vegan I believe that are made out of actual leaves and things like that and I just think that that is such an incredible idea and they look insane so I was kind of torn between the black one the green one and the blue one but they are gorgeous again they're not the cheapest because it is like quite a decent little independent designer brand so yeah I would just say that that is something I would absolutely love because I mostly I love the look of them but I just love the idea behind them so the next is actually two items of clothing well I think the next few are actually a few items of clothing but the first two is actually some feeler dungarees I love the feeler brand I love old vintage sports style brands that are coming back I always have but I found on Google, I can't actually find either of these pieces, which is so annoying, but they were on just like Google Images or something. And it's actually these black long dungarees. I've wanted black dungarees for as long as I can remember, and this is the style that I want, and the fact that they are feeler just makes them even better. So I would love these, but I just can't seem to find them, and I reckon if I could find them, they would not be cheap at all. And the other ones are these, which are a little bit more out there, They've got the white, the yellow, they are a bit more unusual, but I think for summer, with the feel of disruptors, some big chunky shoes and a nice big t-shirt, I think these would look so cool. So yeah, two little pieces from Feeler that I would absolutely love, so they're on my Christmas wish list. Another item of clothing, again, I do already own a pair, well, I think I own a few actually, but they're starting to get to the point where you're like, yeah, they're not black anymore, but it's just my black skinny jeans from Topshop. I think they're the Joni jeans with the slit in the knee. I have lived in these for the past, what, three years maybe? And I've got so much wear out of them, but they're the only pair of jeans that fits me perfectly, 100%. They're not the cheapest, I think they're maybe like 30, 40, maybe 50 pound, I'm not sure. But yeah, because I do already have a pair, but they are starting to get very grey right now. I'm a bit like, oh, I don't technically need a pair, but they could do with replacing, so that is why they are on my Christmas wish list. So another thing on my wish list is actually a bullet journal. Again, they're not exactly the most expensive, but for a notebook, I think they're about 15 pound. But I've been obsessed with watching bullet journal stuff on YouTube and my entire Pinterest is filled with bullet journals and that was one regret I had this year was not actually doing a bullet journal so that is on my Christmas wish list because even if I don't get one I would like to buy one myself and it is something that I'm going to be doing I don't know if I will make videos about it but I could do but I think it's such a good way to stay organized and I'm very creative so I'd love to actually build my own journal do my own diary and things like that so that is on my wish list and my final thing, again, isn't actually too expensive, but for what it is, it's a candle, but the Yankee candles can be quite expensive. I think they're about £22 for the massive jars, but I bought my mum one ages ago and I was so close to keeping it. So I even said this to her, I was like, I was so close to not actually giving you this, but it was the rhubarb crumble one. I love rhubarb crumble. I love rhubarb, I love crumble, I love them together. And the Yankee candle version smelled just a rhubarb crumble. It didn't smell anything artificial, it just smelled like an actual rhubarb crumble. You smell it, you could taste a rhubarb crumble and oh, I, I was over the moon that they did it and then I was like, do you know what, I'm gonna go and get myself one. Went to the Yankee candle shop and it wasn't there, it was gone and I've been gutted ever since and it's just been on the back of my mind. If I can come across the Yankee Candle rhubarb crumble candle then I definitely will be probably treating myself to one of those so it's on my wish list. So now we're getting on to more of a extreme wish list style gift. There are two cars that I, well it's technically three cars that I really really want and I have for a while. They're joint with my boyfriend we would both like these cars but I would adore a Morris Minor 1000 I will leave it here I have been in love with this car since I went to my favorite artist exhibition she had one there and she had drawn on it oh my god it looked insane and I've been in love with this car ever since so this is something I am currently saving for but with it being a vintage car it will obviously need a lot of TLC and 
it'd be more like a weekend car so this is something that I am currently hoping to save up for. <laughs> Another car that I've always wanted and my boyfriend also wants is actually a Land Rover but we would like, well I don't know about Alex but I want the 90 inch wheelbase ones, you know the slightly smaller ones. I would love a black on black one or maybe a charcoal grey, I think they are gorgeous and yeah that is like an ultimate dream of mine. <laughs> Similar to that both Alex and I would absolutely adore a Volkswagen camper van. We have both wanted these for as long as we can remember. Alex has actually owned a camp van in the past and hopefully very soon we will own another one ourselves because we both would love to have one, we'd love to do one up ourselves and yeah we'd love to go travelling around in it so that is just like an ultimate dream of ours so again going to the extreme three things on my ultimate Christmas wish list are those three cars <laughs> but that is everything for today's video I do apologize for how I sound like I said I'm not feeling too great thank you so so much for watching I do really appreciate it in the next few days I will actually be hosting a giveaway I'll explain it all in the actual video but stay tuned for that if you are excited for a giveaway please hit the subscribe button so you can actually find out what I will be giving away and why but that is everything leave a comment down below letting me know what extreme ott things that you would love on your ultimate christmas wish list it can be literally anything like if i was going to extreme i'd be like oh yeah i want a nice big five bedroom house with a nice pool <laughs> but that is just ott but if you have anything that is a little bit out of your price range but something that you would absolutely love and you would love to put it on your ultimate Christmas wish list, let me know down below because I would love to hear. But that is everything. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I do really appreciate it. Please give it a massive thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and hit the subscribe button. It would be great to have you. I'm actually uploading every single day in December. I'm trying to do Vlogmas. So yeah, it'd be great to have you join us. And that is everything. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye.